Hi friends and dear students, welcome back to my YouTube channel Success and Be. Today we are going to discuss about uh, polynomials. So polynomials, polynomials is most important topic for both class nine and ten. I am the of algebra. So each and every student needs to know what is polynomials, its definitions, and its importance. So let's start. So let us assume some algebraical expression. Suppose y six, four y. And line x y z. So we know that each algebraical expressions having two parts. First one is known part and second one is unknown part. So this known part is known as the constant or numerical coefficient. And the other part, which is known as unknown part, so unknown part is variable. So there are students, so variables and constants with the two parts for each algebraical expressions. Now we are going to discuss about polynomials. So Polynomials are those algebraic expressions who have whole numbers as their powers. Suppose twice x squared is an algebraic expression and here the power is 2. Power 2. So we know that 2 is an to is a whole number. The whole number, the whole number, whole number is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, da, 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 da. So if they are present in a typical expression and they are power, then those algebraical expressions are known as polynomials. So polynomials are those algebraical expressions who have whole number as their powers. So now let us assume some algebraical expressions of polynomials. Suppose twice x square plus twice x plus four, and another one is Times x to the power minus 1 plus 2 and root x plus 3. Here the power is 2, here the power is minus 1, and here the power is half. The minus 1 and half is not whole number. But 2 is whole number. So this is polynomials and they are not polynomials. So now we can identify which algebraic expressions are polynomials and which are not. If you have any problem then you can comment me and I will try to make better video for you. Next time. Now the zeros, zeros of polynomial, zeros of polynomials. One minute. So polynomials. Like linear polynomials, suppose twice x plus 1, 
seven x plus two five six plus one. Those are linear polynomials because they are power is always one. So all linear polynomials have only one zero. Only one zero. But for quadratic polynomials, quadratic polynomials mean those polynomials who have power two, and they have only two zeros. Only two zeros because their power is two, and their factor may be two. So uh, if a quad quadratic Polynomial suppose five x square plus four x plus three. So this is a quadratic polynomial. Now you have to answer me. What is the number? Find the number of zero. Question is find the number of zero of this polynomial. Option A one. Option B two, option C three, and option D zero. You come, come with me. The right option. And uh, if you newly come to my channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you find you will be able to find my notification of next video. So thanks for watching.